going to show you my new winter scenes and how to set it up. So you're going to print out two pictures of kids and you'll choose which one is going to be on your on your uh, vanilla folder. And then you are going to um, also get the sheet that's mostly blank and just has the uh, clothing items in black and white on the bottom. And it's helpful if you trim a little bit off so that it fits nicely. I'm going to be gluing this page on the bottom. And I'm going to pay, glue my child page on the top. And I'm also going to cut out this winter dress up tab and I'm going to glue it right here on the top so that it's really easy to find. And um, then I'll show you what happens next. That involves cutting. So you got your weather pictures and you're going to cut out each of those. Um, so you're going to cut out all six weather pictures. You have your black and white clothing on the same page, and those you're going to cut out individually because you're going to be using those as manipulatives to help in sentence formation. So I like to cut them out as a whole strip and then just go through in between. So I'm going to cut all those. And then you're also going to cut out all the clothing items. Now something because something to note, because you're working on a paper doll, you actually want these to be pretty precision cutting jobs so that your, your paper doll doesn't look too funny. So actually go around the curves and, and go around the lines. So that's what I'll be doing and I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, so now I have glued on the top page, I've glued on the bottom page, I've glued on the label tab, and I have cut out all the manipulative pieces. So the next step is going to be to laminate everything. So I'm going to laminate this entire file folder, all these cards, these clothes, these um, weather images, and I'm going to laminate the girl uh, because I will be using her later. So now I've had, I have, I've finished the whole thing, so I'm coming back to show you what I did. I laminated the whole entire file folder and all of the clothing parts. Also, I laminated all of the little squares that are going to be used for our sentence. Um, and I used this stuff called Tack It over and over, and I put a small dot. Notice, it has to be actually quite small. I've made the mistake of putting too much on, and it's a disaster. So a small dot of that on the all the back of the various clothing items. These have Velcro. On the front cover, I actually stuck my my other, in this case a girl, but you could put a boy on the front cover. And I have Velcro here for that sentence. And then I put all my weather pictures on the back. And they all have this tacket stuff. Um, which is sticky, but it works out perfectly when you're doing a dress-up doll, for example. So I'm going to have my lovely daughter here help me, um, and I'm going to take over as videographer, and I'm going to ask her, I'm going to say, Honey, can you put a shirt on the boy? Okay, tell me, what happened? He is wearing a shirt. Right, can you tell me about the shirt? Is it long sleeve or short sleeve? It's long, short sleeve. Oh, okay. Now, how about this? Can you find some of those? Now tell me what's happening. He is wearing pants. Right. Now he's not warm enough. Look, it's snowy. It's winter. What does he need on top? A coat. Oh, okay. Can you put one of those on? Okay. And find the, um, the picture that goes with that. Okay. Now tell me the sentence. He is wearing a coat. Cool. And then also, can you choose, what is the weather like today? So we can put it on the weather scene for him. Like today? Mm-hmm. Like in your life? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So what is the weather? Sunny and cloudy. Okay, put it on the scene form. Great, and there our boy is dressed and ready to go play outside. 